All right, let's get it. Episode four of the Da Vinci Code. Once again, I got Ryan in again. We had to do a two part episode because this nigga just said some wild shit. Um, <laughs> I just couldn't let him leave without asking him this, this last question, though, real quick. If he don't mind, if what he, if it, I want your, I want your, I want your, um, your input on it. Okay. Okay, it's really important. Um, I, I always wanted this, and I, I still want to know why do gay women date women that dress like niggas? Why do you think that? So the gay women you saying the feminine type? Why do they? Yeah. Date? Why do they date women that look like men? I thought about that too. I, I don't. I don't understand why they like stud. I think maybe one of the reasons may be is they could have been molested or they could have had something. <coughs> they could have something against a male. Oh my God! Hold up. They was molested by a male in, in their past. Or? Oh, or abused. Not. Definitely, um, but I'm just saying some type of abuse or like got with some bad womanizer Jackson, or something Michael like that. Jackson, just like Michael Jackson, and they might have something right. against men, like Michael Jackson. Damn. But see, they want they then they still want a masculine figure, mm. but they just got something against men. I don't know because a lot so of hoes like Young Ma, but I like Young Ma too. Bro. Young Ma, whatever the fuck yeah, you call that. Dog. I don't know how you like her. I smash. Man, you nasty. I clean her gun while she's while she giving me head, bro. <laughs> what you think? I'm gonna keep the grill in too. <laughs> All right, nigga. She not a nigga though. She still look. She still. She still have a period. That bitch still be getting pads. You don't see her getting pads. I mean, why would you want to see that? But she still be getting them. You ever seen a dyke inside Walgreens looking for pads, bro? That shit is hilarious. I don't want nothing. You ever seen that? I don't want nothing masculine <laughs> that look like a man. That's and young person. Ma looked like a man, but especially if she, she had a mouthful of gold Doesn't look like a man. She looked like a rough girl, and her voice deep. Damn, her voice is deep as fuck, bro. Like, maybe she just talked like that because she died. Like you ever seen a guy that try too hard to be a dude? Like, like okay, we get it. You eat pussy. Goddamn, just, <laughs> just, just be gay. Like what the fuck? I don't know, man. What you think? I think they do it because they don't fucking know what they want. They're confused. That too. Mm-hmm. And then throw something in the pot. They use the dildos. Like, I thought I thought the whole reason why you switched teams was to get away from the dick. Now you're getting boneless dick? Yeah. It's got to be like some type of emotional thing, too. Stupid emotion. Connection. It's not a good connection. Yeah, I, I think it's stupid, too, but, you know, some... Some people like it, man. I would get a dyke on here, but I don't know too many dykes besides Eric, so I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I want to offend him, her, <laughs> whatever. I don't want to offend. Him. I don't know any. You don't know any, but you a fireman. You should know at least three. No, you don't know three dykes. You know that's good. I, I met that's... your crew. I, I met not not your your nature crew. What the fuck they was? That lady with the pigtails, the dig, the coat when we was at Art Walk. You like she do coke? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the only one I met. I like she looked like she do that. She shit. wasn't a dyke, man. She looked like she could have been though. She wasn't a dyke. She used to sexually harass her so much at work. Really? That sounds interesting. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Not not touch and feeling, but what say like stuff like you got a nice ass. <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> the white woman shit. Like boy, if I had, if I had, if I like balls, I showed up suck yours, like shit like that. <laughs> and I'm type, I would let her. I mean, she, 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 she bringing up the proposal. What the craziest thing she ever said was to, uh, it kind of shocked me because it was like a work function, and she was like, she used to snort uh, cocaine <laughs> off cocks. I was know. like, really? <laughs> like who's saying cocks for the first thing? <laughs> like she still do it? I don't know. I didn't. Want uh, yeah, you should probably give me that information. I just, I just want nothing I to do with it, man. I mean, if that's what she want to do, that, that's that's part of her journey. So I'm not going to judge her for that. I'm just going to get cocaine snorted off my dick, I guess. If that's what you're all about, man. That's definitely what I'm all about. I'm, <laughs> I have no standards at this point. I'm 30. This is, I'm not married. I, 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 I got to get what I can get, bro. And that's not, actually not that bad. That's not like a fun Saturday night. 
But I, like I said, I asked the question. Like I don't, uh, I still don't understand. I don't even think they understand. Like why they date women that look like men. I think you think we hit it. You say one of they confused, and I mm-hmm. think the other end one they could have something against. Oh, and against three they could be hoes because you know hoes always go to the other side too. Yeah, they always go to the other side because they exhaust. They uh, they exhaust. They uh, what's the term? Pussy. Wholeness? What? They exhaust. Mobility? Well, on one end, they Ages. exhaust. They they body do it. They they do it all with one. So uh-huh. they gotta experiment. And then they come right back because I had a chick like that. Like she switched teams, then she came back. Yeah. She probably don't switch teams again because I know I broke her heart. <laughs> I mean, she didn't have to, but I know I that's know, probably man. the the area she's heading towards right there. Be careful, man. For yeah. what? Matter of fact, a chick wrote me, one of my friends wrote me the other day saying that she had blocked her on Facebook. For, and she don't know why she even blocked her because she never said two words to the girl. I had the, I had the receipts, bro. I'm like, wait, what? What the fuck happened? She was like, yeah, she know my cousin. And I guess she seen me commenting on something. And she asked me if she if I, if I knew you. And then oh. I, go, I went to go see something that she, they had like. And my name was blocked on the shit. <laughs> I just laughed, bro. I was like, oh, damn. Sorry. Crazy, man. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. The women be knowing, man. That intuition, what they call it. That's that good dick down, bro. That's what that is. I mean, that happens. All right, whatever. It, that's what happens. You explain to me why the fuck she did that crazy shit. I'm waiting. Know. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> go with mine and good dick down. Okay. But I'm gonna cut it right there. That's the only thing I had to ask for you, the man, because I felt like once again you the best person for the for the question. Because the other niggas that I was gonna get to answer, I'm like, nah, them niggas gonna. I'm already out the pain. Them niggas really gonna push me out. You so, ain't out the pain. I'm out the pain, bro. I mean, far as with women, why I'm out the pain? Oh, okay. Because they hate me. I don't. I still don't know why. You don't know why? Okay. No. I'm honest. I thought that's what they like. No. I knew you, that was you know bullshit. I knew honesty. that was bullshit. It's always they change what they like every three fucking years. Remember the women we used to like beards? Not everybody like Michael B. Jordan. I ain't never seen that nigga with a beard. I don't know what the whole Michael B. Jordan thing is about. I don't I don't get it. You wanna talk about that real quick? What you mean? I mean uh, Name another celebrity like women go crazy about. All racist now. Like all races go crazy about it. Um. Oh shit! You're right. Uh, I can't think. I don't really care what hoes oh, like. Okay, you'll really... go with um. But see, all women will go crazy about him. Uh, what's the dude from um the UK? The black dude, tall dude. Oh, each is over. Yeah, but all women will go. But all women go crazy. He like hood rats. Denzel. Older women go for Denzel. Yeah, but. But he like I'm talking about rats. all women like like Michael B. I don't I don't get it. It's because he uh, a fake good guy, I guess. I yeah. don't know. Either that, and all women like him, and women like what they can't have. Yeah, because he definitely don't want to have any of them because he loves white women. Yeah, especially the black ones. Exactly. Yes, he he he's just not man enough to be like, yeah, I don't fuck with the sisters like that. <laughs> I don't know why. That's I would respect question. him so much more if he just came out like, yeah, I don't really fuck with black chicks like that. Yeah. Kyrie, Kyrie been saying it low key, but you know what? I would need to hear from Michael B. George to shatter these chicks' dreams, and I would laugh. I would take the day off. That's why I don't like that. you, man. What? 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 <laughs> he said it, not me. I'm just laughing. I'm just an innocent bystander. Like, like, nigga, if I if I get a tweet saying Michael B. George going off on black women, nigga, I'm, I'm taking a day off from work <laughs> <coughs> to go just sit home and watch this shit, bro. Like this shit is getting intense, but oh fuck, oh. That nigga was secretly married to a white woman this whole time. Nigga, I'd be going off, bro. Mm. Just to see all these shattered dreams and these hateful ass tweets, bro. That'd be wild. Because it don't take much. Yeah, good luck, man. <sighs> to him. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Women already know what's up. But <laughs> that's all that we have for today, man. I'm out. We out of here, man. Go ahead and plug what you want to plug. Man. I plugged last time. Right out of Dillima Tag. Uh, easy to the podcast. He has a garden now, too. <laughs> Go ahead and plug that. Coming. I got a what? You got a garden coming too. Yeah, go on and plug that garden, bro. What garden? Daisies by Yeezy. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, yeah. no. It's coming. <laughs> October 2019. Be on the lookout for that shit. 
<laughs> yeah, listen. If you, you have any uh, questions, listen to questions, or anything you want to ask the show, just email us at mail at reop.com. And then we out. <laughs>